In the last video, we were talking about how to become a better data engineer by understanding the four phases of the data engineering lifecycle. Now today, let's talk about how to do good platform design. And it all starts with, on the left here, you need to look at the data and you need to look at the product and its features. This is the most important thing. The rest, everything in between will come on its own. But here's what you need to do. And here's also the questions that you need to ask or what you need to look into. So on the left here with the data, you need to look into what is the source? Is this a device? Is this an API? Is this a person? Right? Then you need to think about what is the format of the data that is coming in? Is this a CSV? Is this a HTML request? What is this? How large is this request or this data that is coming in? Also, how often is this coming in? So frequency, look at the frequency. Are there peaks? Is this, for instance, in the middle of the day when everybody's on lunch, does this have peaks or in the evening? Or is this data coming in very continuously? Then ask yourself, do I need to get to the data? Or is the data actually coming in? Am I receiving it? Another thing you need to ask is, is the data arriving late sometimes or what might be some errors or problems with the data, right? Okay, then with these questions, you already have a lot answered regarding the data side. Then another thing here is the actual transmission side, right? Two main things you need to ask. Okay, my processing time. So basically the delta of the processing time. How long is it allowed from the data actually coming in to delivering the features. This might be a second, this might be a minute, also might be an hour. This is very important. And also the delivery guarantees. Delivery guarantee means uh, when the data is coming in until the feature, can I lose some data in this? Is this a one to one thing? Can I process data multiple times or has this data that is coming in to be processed exactly once? So something very important. Then on the right side here, we need to talk about the actual features. Now, how do you or which questions do you need to ask regarding the features? So first of all, talk about the use case type. Is this an analytics use case or is this a transactional use case? It's always important because this also makes the decision or lead to the decision which tools to use. Then is this a visualization use case? Does this have visualization? What are the requirements for this? Again, the processing time here, how often is the data actually getting processed or getting used by the product features? How often is the data queried on this side? Query frequency. Also query sizes are very important from a visualization use case, for instance. So these are things you need to talk about, you need to ask, you need to find out. Of course, there is a ton more, but again, if you understand the data and if you understand the product features and processing time, delays, delivering guarantees and so on in between, then you already will get a good understanding of what you need to actually deliver. Oh, okay. So I hope this helps. Um, see you in the next YouTube video then.